So after you've hooked your elements up uh, on all your wiring, your controls in place, to make sure that it's all properly running right, all you have to do with a multimeter on 200 ohms, to turn your multimeter on, hook either side, it's non-directional. Non what you're gonna do, now again, the power is not hooked up to this yet. Just go ahead and turn on your control. You should be reading between 10 and 10.6. This means that it's hooked up, it's good to go. Now, these are your leveling screws. This is a 3 8 bolt. This is a lock nut. All you have to do is take a 3 8 uh, wrench or a 9 16 socket, and you can loosen this bolt up. It's one inch long. Go to your desired height, take your lock nut, go all the, way the, all the way to the bottom, tighten it up, and that's how you adjust your stove. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our bottom pan. Now when we took this out, you notice there's a hole in the bottom here. This is your drainage hole. So this hole goes to your drain in the rear, not to your electrical. So all you're gonna do is set it in here. This, again, these sides are sharp, so be careful, even though you have gloves on. Go ahead and set it in. Manipulate it down. Pull your tabs back. And then with your self-tappers, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this up. Work it over. Now I put my drill on level nine and this prevents the screws from overturning. If they overturn, what will happen is it'll auger out the hole. bottom pan is installed.